Today I'm here with you with the topic chemical reaction from class 10 science subject. So let us begin. There are four types of chemical reaction. See here I have listed combination chemical reaction, decomposition chemical reaction, displacement chemical reaction, acid and base chemical reaction. Combination means when two or more types of reactant molecules combine together to form a single type of product molecule such type of chemical reaction is called combination chemical reaction when sodium and chlorine are reacted together it forms sodium chloride this is combination chemical reaction similarly one more example here when hydrogen and oxygen are reacted together it forms water molecule this is also combination chemical reaction combination chemical reaction are also called addition chemical reaction they have also been given another name that is synthesis chemical reaction so anyway two or different types of reactant molecule must combine to form single type of product molecule to be a combination chemical reaction coming to next that is decomposition chemical reaction decomposition simply means breaking down of molecules into its fragment let's say but those formed product have quite different characteristics means we cannot recombine them back to the original reactant molecule if it is irreversible in nature but case would be quite different if it is reversible in nature decomposition means splitting up of reactant molecules into product calcium carbonate is decomposed by heating it forms calcium oxide plus carbon dioxide gas in this case what happened actually see this is reactant molecule when it is heated it breaks down into two different types of product molecule means decomposition has occurred here so this is decomposition type of chemical reaction some more examples say uh, the same thing happens when potassium chlorate is heated when potassium chlorate is heated it breaks down into potassium chloride and oxygen to balance it we must add coefficient like this look this is now balanced chemical reaction more precisely we must say this is balanced decomposition chemical reaction single type of reactant molecule is broken down into two different types of product molecule one type of reactant molecule is broken down into two types of product molecule so it is decomposition chemical reaction displacement means atom from reactant side must be displaced by another atom or element the result would be displacement chemical reaction one or more atom of one of the reactant molecule must be displaced by another atom or element of another reactant molecule in this case product formed would be different and we call such type of chemical reaction displacement chemical reaction 
displacement chemical reaction. See, whenever zinc is reacted with dilute sulfuric acid, see the case, zinc is one of the reactive metal and it is an acid, laboratory acid means mineral acid. When zinc reacts with dilute sulfuric acid, it forms zinc sulfate plus hydrogen gas. See the case here. What happened here? This hydrogen is replaced by zinc here. Zinc has displaced hydrogen from sulfuric acid to result zinc sulfate. Since hydrogen is displaced here by zinc atom, it is displacement chemical reaction. Of how many atoms or elements from reactant sites are displaced? Whether only one atom is displaced or two different types of atoms are displaced mutually from each other. That uh, help us to find it out in a two different ways. So let us discuss displacement chemical reaction in a broad way, dividing it into two category that is single displacement reaction and double displacement reaction. Displacement reaction means uh, a chemical reaction in which one atom or one radical is displaced by another element it's called single displacement reaction then the first example zinc is reacted with hydrochloric acid there has formed zinc chloride and hydrogen gas similarly you can go to another example uh, in the same single displacement reaction there's a reaction between iron and copper sulfate when iron reacts with copper sulfate copper is displaced by iron since only copper is displaced by iron atom it is single displacement reaction uh, and copper is reduced here that is why this reaction is also called reduction reaction because copper is displaced by iron atom what happens why why this happens why uh, copper is so easily displaced by iron maybe a question in fact iron is more electropositive than copper that is why iron can displace copper from its compound copper sulfate so the result is iron sulfate along with uh, the copper deposition of copper the third example is the other action between chlorine atom chlorine molecule and potassium bromide uh, here chlorine displaces bromine from potassium potassium bromide and the result is potassium chloride and bromine. So there is there on the down you can see double displacement reaction. It is just uh, different from single displacement reaction in a way that two of the atoms, two of the different atoms from two of the reactant molecules are mutually displaced in this case. The definition goes in the same way you can see a chemical reaction in which an element or a radical of a compound is mutually displaced by another element or a radical is called double displacement reaction there are given three examples for you uh, the first one the reaction between silver nitrate and sodium chloride in this case sodium and silver atoms are mutually displaced here silver reacts with chlorine forms silver chloride the similar thing happens when sodium comes with nitrate radical it forms sodium nitrate then the second is reaction between uh, mercury chloride and potassium iodide the result is potassium chloride and mercuric iodide similarly there is reaction between iron chloride and sodium hydroxide the result is iron hydroxide and sodium chloride <laughs> Silver nitrate plus NaCl. Actually, this is the chemical reaction which takes place only under the aqueous state. Means 
they two react together when their aqueous solution is prepared. They do not react together in their solid form, in, so, in their solid powder form. The reaction never occurs. It is because no ionization takes place in their solid form. I mean to say, AgNO3 does not break down into its ionic form. See, this happens only when its aqueous solution is prepared. Aqueous solution means when silver nitrate powder or solid form of silver nitrate is provided water. The solution is prepared. In that case only, it breaks down into its opposite ions, the electropositive ion and the electronegative ion. The same thing happens with sodium chloride. When sodium chloride's solution is prepared, it also breaks down into its opposite ion. Now, these opposite ions are exchanged like this, you can see. These opposite ions are exchanged like this. Then only reaction is possible. The result would be AgCl plus NaNO3. When the aqueous solution is mixed together, opposite ions are now exchanging themselves with each other. I mean to say that opposite ions have been displaced by one another. Since displacement is here on both sides, it is double displacement reaction. Cl2 means mer mercuric chloride because two valence is used so it is mercuric chloride. Mercury has two valences. It has variable valences one or two. Since two valence is used it is called mercuric. If there was one valence used we must say mercurous. It is mercuric chloride. When it reacts with uh, potassium iodide let us balance it later. Then what happens? Exchanging of their opposite ions occur. This Yg and I K and Cl. This is what happens actually when these two compounds are acted together. Yg I2. In this case also, this potassium and mercury are mutually displaced by one another from their corresponding radical. That is why it is also double displacement reaction. Acidic based reaction is also called neutralization chemical reaction. Why it is called neutralization? Let me begin with that. Actually, acid and base are both of them corrosive substances if we take highly concentrated acid and base. If we react acid and base of equal strength, I mean to say, if we uh, allow strong acid to react with strong base or weak acid to react with weak base, then they neutralize each other's effect. And the result would be non-neutral substance, non-acidic, non-basic substances. I mean to say, neutral substances would be formed. Since neutral substances are formed, it is called neutralization chemical reaction. When HCl, one of the strong acid, is reacted with one of the strongest base, say sodium hydroxide, both them are equal in terms of their strength. Both them are strong in their nature, chemical nature. When these two are reacted, they cancel each other's effect. They cancel corrosive chemical properties of them, forming sodium chloride and water. Water itself is neutral substance. Sodium chloride means what common salt is that we use in our kitchen as a table salt. And it is also neutral substance. It is also neutral in nature and it is always neutral you must know its pH is 7 since it is also completely neutral in nature it does not show its acidic property neither it shows basic in basic properties because it is neutral substance 
that is why the result is neutral substances and so the reaction is given name neutralization chemical reaction all the acid and base reaction do not produce complete neutral substances yeah acid and base reaction would surely form water as a one of the neutral substances fine but salt so formed may not always be neutral look this chemical reaction in this chemical reaction copper sulfate is formed along with water here water is neutral but this is not neutral in nature actually when this copper sulfate is reacted with water it forms H2SO4 plus copper oxide what is this look since it produces sulfuric acid with water it is inclined towards acidic nature so copper sulfate is acidic salt so this time it is not neutralization reaction so you must know acid and base of equal strength if acid is used strong then base must be strong in order to get complete neutral substances the reaction would be then called neutralization chemical reaction some examples given on the screen uh, the reaction between acid and base the first reaction include uh, reaction between hydrochloric acid and sodium hydroxide result is uh, sodium chloride and water second one reaction between sulfuric acid and potassium hydroxide here potassium hydroxide is also the strongest one and uh, sulfuric acid is obviously the king of chemical because it is strong in nature the result is potassium sulfate and water Similarly, the third reaction is uh, mentioned here, the reaction between uh, nitric acid and calcium hydroxide, we call lime water. The result is calcium nitrate and water. Uh, the fourth reaction here, the reaction between an acid, HCl, and a base, CuO, copper oxide, result is copper chloride and water. Then the last of this uh, screen, you can see, point to be noted, you must not forget the same I just explained not all the acid and base reactions are neutralization reaction the example is the same example i just explained in this reaction the salt so formed that is copper sulfate is acid again this is all for today about types of chemical reaction there i have provided you my email id you can ask any type of questions regarding this uh, chemical reaction uh, thank you for your presence patience have a wonderful day bye bye